Charles, congratulations, your first podium of the year. It's only the second race, but um, after a great qualifying yesterday, the pace of the Red Bulls just too strong for you. Yeah, uh, we had quite a good pace because we have the fastest lap at the end. I got a bit uh, uh, helped by, uh, by a DRS, but uh, uh, overall the feeling was pretty good. Uh, it was a bit of a boring race because the Red Bull were a bit too quick and behind we had a bit of a gap, but uh, we took the maximum points we called today and uh, that, is, uh, that, is, that was the target, so that's great. Yeah, congratulations on that point for fastest lap. This is a tough race circuit. The pace of this race, I can see you're, you're visibly sweating more than in some Grand Prix. How did it compare to last year? Uh, from last year, it's actually a step better. I don't know why exactly, maybe because I was a bit more on my own, so you have a bit uh, uh, less adrenaline in the car, but uh, all in all, it's, it's definitely one of the most physical uh, race track of the season. Uh, it's warm, but most of all, I think it's more for the neck. There are so many high speed and so very, very difficult, but also very, very fun to, uh, to drive. Excellent. Well, look, if you don't mind, I'd like to ask about your teammate for this weekend. He was voted driver of the day, Oliver Berman, brought points home. How impressed have you been with him getting thrown in the deep end? I mean, he completely deserves it. He's done an incredible job already from FP3. He was straight uh, on the pace in qualifying. He did a great job and missed Q3 by uh, so little. And I think today he's been uh, incredible. I mean, seventh in your first race in Formula 1, having done only in FP3 uh, in a new car is just hugely impressive. So I'm sure he's extremely proud, but uh, Everybody has noticed how talented he is, and uh, I guess it's just a matter of time before he uh, comes uh, here in Formula One. Okay, Charles, enjoy the podium. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.